Welcome to Reality Scoop, please hit that like button and notification bell. Clicking subscribe would be a great help too. It's free for you, but means the world to us. Thank you. Now on with our video. Are you ready to embark on a journey that will tantalize your taste buds, ignite your culinary creativity, and awaken your senses to a world of vibrant flavors? Look no further, because you've just stepped into the aromatic realm of Spice Guys. At Spice Guys, we believe that every dish is an opportunity for culinary artistry. Our passion for exquisite flavors, coupled with the art of seasoning, has led us to curate a remarkable collection of handcrafted blends that will revolutionize your cooking experience. Whether you're a seasoned chef or a home cooking enthusiast, our premium spices are your ticket to transforming ordinary meals into extraordinary gastronomic adventures, so, come on in, spice enthusiast. The world of flavor awaits, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. The rusty old box lay buried for decades. Beneath the earth of the town square, it held secrets. Secrets whispered from a time gone by. It was a time capsule, a forgotten relic of the past. Unearthed during the town's bicentennial celebrations, it promised a glimpse into the dreams and aspirations of a bygone era. A collective gasp rippled through the crowd as the metal box, etched with the passage of time, saw the light of day. Mayor Thompson, his face etched with a mixture of anticipation and trepidation, pried open the capsule. Inside, nestled amongst yellowed photographs and faded documents, lay a sealed envelope. It was marked, Predictions for the Future, the inscription a ghostly echo of a time long past. The townsfolk, their faces a mixture of curiosity and apprehension, huddled closer. This wasn't just a peek into the past, it was a confrontation with their history. The air crackled with anticipation as Mayor Thompson carefully extracted the contents of the envelope. It contained a series of predictions for the town's future, handwritten on brittle paper. Some were mundane, predictions about the town's growth and development. Others were eerily accurate, foretelling technological advancements with unsettling precision. A wave of unease spread through the crowd as they listened, their faces illuminated by the flickering gaslights of the town square. As the last prediction was read aloud, a palpable silence descended upon the crowd. The capsule had spoken, its words a bridge between the past and the present. But more than just reflecting on history, the townspeople were now forced to confront the future, a future intertwined with the cryptic pronouncements of their predecessors. The time capsule, once a symbol of the past, had become a harbinger of things to come. The townsfolk gathered at the local diner, their conversations buzzing with the predictions. Some were remarkably accurate. The rise of personal computers, the prediction of a global network connecting people across continents. It was as if they were reading a history book instead of prophecies. It was both exhilarating and unnerving. Old man Hemmings, his memory as sharp as ever, recalled stories of the town's eccentric inventor, Elias Croft. Croft was a man ahead of his time, a visionary who tinkered with gadgets in his workshop on the outskirts of town. It was Croft who had spearheaded the time capsule project, his enthusiasm infectious, his belief in the future unwavering. Could Croft's insights have been so accurate? The accuracy of the predictions wasn't limited to technology. The time capsule also foretold the town's economic boom, a direct result of the interstate highway bypassing their sleepy town. But there were discrepancies too, omissions that were harder to explain. The predictions made no mention of the devastating factory fire in the 70s, an event that had crippled the town's economy for a decade. As the townsfolk delved deeper into the predictions, a sense of unease settled over them. While some saw the accuracy as a harmless curiosity, others saw it as something more profound, perhaps even ominous. The line between the past and the present seemed to blur, the echoes of their ancestors' words resonating with unsettling clarity. And yet, amidst the astonishment and unease, a single question lingered in their minds. What about the unfulfilled predictions? The unfulfilled predictions were a different matter altogether. The time capsule spoke of a thriving art scene, a grand theater that never materialized. It alluded to a renowned university, a beacon of knowledge that remained unbuilt. These were not just predictions, they were aspirations, dreams of a future that never came to be. Sarah, a young waitress at the diner, felt a pang of sadness as she read about the university. Her grandmother, a school teacher, had always yearned for a college in their town, a place where local children could pursue higher education without leaving their roots behind. The thought of what could have been hung heavy in the air, 
a reminder of missed opportunities and unrealized dreams. Some speculated that the predictions were nothing more than hopeful fantasies, projections of a future painted with optimism rather than accuracy. Others whispered of a curse, a malevolent force that had thwarted the town's destiny. The time capsule, once a source of wonder, now became an object of scrutiny, its every word analyzed and debated. The unfulfilled predictions served as a stark reminder that the future, while not predetermined, is shaped by choices made in the present. The townsfolk, once content with the slow rhythm of their lives, were now forced to confront the paths not taken, the what-ifs that whispered on the edges of their collective memory. The time capsule, in its silence on certain matters, spoke volumes about the fickle nature of fate. But the most perplexing discovery was yet to come. Tucked away at the very bottom of the capsule lay a second envelope, smaller and more tightly sealed. It bore a chilling inscription, to be opened in 2024. This envelope from the future contained three letters, each signed with a name the townsfolk recognized, names of their children. Fear and curiosity warred within the townspeople. The younger generation, the authors of these letters from the future, were now adults themselves. The letters contained their past selves' hopes and dreams, their fears and aspirations. The town held its breath, caught between a yearning for the familiar past and an apprehension of an unknown future penned by their younger selves. The town council convened an emergency meeting, the atmosphere thick with tension. Should they open the letters risking the unknown consequences? Or should they respect the wishes of the past and leave the letters sealed, their contents forever shrouded in mystery? The debate raged, splitting the town into two distinct factions. The time capsule, once a symbol of unity and shared history, had become a wedge, driving a rift between those who embraced the unknown and those who clung to the familiar. The letters, still unread, held the potential to reshape the town's future, for better or for worse. Their very existence challenged the very fabric of their reality, blurring the lines between destiny and free will. The town, once a place of quiet certainty, now stood on the precipice of an uncertain tomorrow. Thank you for watching our content, I hope you enjoyed it. We here at Reality Scoop certainly had fun creating it for you. Please like and consider subscribing to the channel, also please push that notification bell to be notified when new content is released. We upload every Friday 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time which is 6 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Thank you and see you next time.